Hello, good morning. In my third session today, I shall be talking about evolution of marketing. Marketing is essentially all around us and has been in this decade, previous decade and arisen from the prehistoric times in some way, in some form or the other and tried to reach the consumers by still maintaining its basic aim and objective of fulfilling customers' aspirations. So this evolution of marketing, which we'll be studying to today, talk can be disintegrated, can be talked about into four different ways. First is the production concept or the production orientation. Second is the product concept or the product orientation. Third is the selling concept or the selling orientation. Fourth is the marketing concept and finally the fifth is the societal marketing concept or the holistic orientation. So what are these different orientations? Understand that marketing is an important function of an organization. These orientations essentially talk about how the organization has taken to developing and taking marketing in their stride with relevant different kinds of perspectives and viewpoints. In the early heydays of business startups and business settings, it was understood that the production orientation primarily laid its focus on the needs and fulfillments of the organization per se. Demand usually was much greater in supply. Companies did not have greater problems in finding customers and the organization's focus did not lay in improving terms and conditions and developing long-term relationships with customers but it lay in improving production and distribution efficiencies. In the second concept of marketing, which was product concept, the company or the organizations were trying to better their own inherent products in order to introduce variety and greater production capacities in order to reach out to the customers by adding and introducing different product features and maintaining and developing their own operations. The third concept came to be known as the selling concept or selling orientation. In the selling concept, it was understood that the customers or the consumers will buy enough of the organization's products only and only if the organizations could push through the customers, push through the products through their large scaling and promotion efforts because the consumers will have a wide variety to choose from. So selling whatever they've made rather than making goods which the market wants was the primary focus of the organizations in the selling concept. The focus was on the organizations or the seller's needs, but there was no orientation of the consumers of the organization towards the organization's needs and wants. Then came a revolutionary concept, which was given by Marketing Myopia by Theodore Levitt, professor at Harvard Business School, who gave this term and therefore came to be known as father of marketing management. He, in his very interesting article, said that the business organizations had to shift their focuses from I, me, myself concept to focusing their needs on the customers. The buyer has needs must be focused on 
instead of the organization's needs and therefore the customer is the king it is he who is buying the product his needs have to be primarily met with so the marketer must see the buyer's needs rather than the product that he sells otherwise he suffers from what is known as marketing myopia and this gave rise to the fourth concept of marketing which was the marketing orientation of the firms the orientation of the firms was i've taken a few examples here the indian railways if you look at the production oriented answer they are just running we run a railroad but in marketing oriented answers we offer a transportation and material handling solutions to the customers problems at AT&T the marketing oriented answer is we provide multiple forms of reliable in inexpensive and highly efficient telecommunication services but the production oriented answer would be we operate a long distance telephone company so the core operations of a firm still remain the same but the orientations and the perspectives of the of the organizations have changed drastically by keeping in need keeping in view the customers unfulfilled needs and wants So the marketing concept or the marketing orientation is the organization's work at the level of customer segments, their needs are tailored accordingly, their activities are uh, grossly engraved, they are planned into a marketing plan and their needs are identified and met with. The customer concept is customers are the kings, they are shaping separates offers services and messages individually like for example asian paints was involving customers in designing new shades as per their own liking terms and conditions and finally the last concept as the holistic concept of the societal marketing concept is that a firm works within the paraphernalia of an environment so the activities of the firm must be directed not only towards the customer and meeting out their needs and wants and satisfying them, but also meeting a societal need as meeting environmental needs, saying, say for example, by saying no to plastics, no to uh, cigarettes, no to uh, yes to health growing more trees going green gracefully and by taking care of specially crafted and designed out health preventive health uh, needs in order to prevent cancer or by taking due um, precautions as in case of bl blood transfusion and educating a girl child or for that matter donating eyes or our organ donation campaigns and so on that's all thank you